hi and welcome to data coder in this video i am going to discuss classification of htm variables if this is your first time to the channel then subscribe for more upcoming videos on clinical SAS programming so let's get started so htm variables are classified based on their role and based on the core so based on role, the variables are classified as identifier, topic, timing, qualifier and role. And based on core, the variables are uh, classified as required, expected and permissible. So let's see each of them in details. HTTM variable classification based on role. So let's see what is a role. A role determines the type of information conveyed by the variable about each distinct observation and how it can be used. So based on role, the variables are classified into identifier, topic, timing, qualifier and rule. Let's see what is identifier variable. Those identify the study, the subject, the domain and the sequence number of the record example study id u subject id domain so those are the identifier variable let's see our next is topic variable the uh, topic variable specify the focus of the observation such as the name of the lab test so uh, the topic variable is something for which the data is collected so for a intervention class of data set the trt is the topic variable for event class of data set the term is the topic variable and for finding class the test set is the topic variable for example for cm domain cm trt and for ex domain ex trt for a domain a term for ds domain ds term for lb it's lb test cd and for vital signs it's vs test cd so those are the topic variables next is timing variable timing variable describe the timing of an observation such as started and ended so the st dtc or en dtc those are the timing variables for a it's a st dtc a en dtc the visit visit number the lbty or lbtpt num those are the examples of timing variables next is qualifier variables qualifier variables it include additional illustrative text or numeric values that describe the result or additional traits of the observation such as units or descriptive objectives examples are uh, lb cat lb subcat lb original result or lb orres RFST DTC, RFEN DTC, those are the qualifier variable. So qualifier variables are further subcategorized into five classes. We'll see that next. Next is rule variables. So rule variables express an algorithm or executable method to define start, end, or looping conditions in the trial design model. So this rule of variables we find in trial design domain. So here's are the some example like TA branch or TA trans in trial arm domain, TESTRL, TENRL in trial element domain. So next, the uh, subcategorization of uh, qualifier variable. So again, qualifier variables are subcategorized into grouping qualifier, a result qualifier, synonym qualifier, a record qualifier, and variable qualifier. So grouping variable uh, qualifiers to group together a collection of observation within the same domain like category and subcategory variables. Next is result qualifier. Describe the specific result associated with topic variable. The answer, the answer the questions raised by the topic variable. So this original result, character result, numeric result, those are the result qualifier. Next is synonym qualifier. So synonym qualifiers specify an alternative name for a particular variable in an observation. So for example, in CM we have CM TRT, then the synonym uh, you know variable is modify, CM modify. In A we have A term and the synonym variable is the A decode. 
and for test CD in finding class we have test CD then the test or a, you know these are the synonym qualifier next is a record qualifier so record qualifier define additional attributes of the observation record like this reason uh, not done reason not done resnd like lb resnd the this is one of them then aes live uh, or other asa flags in a domain age sex and race in tm domain then this baseline flag like lb uh, blfl then pos like uh, vital signs position vs position then this loc location then spec nam these are the finding uh, in finding domains these are the record qualifier next is variable qualifier so further modify or describe a specific variable within an observation and are only meaningful in the context of the variable they qualify like for a result original result or res the variable qualifiers are result unit or normal uh, low and high ranges like lbor or esu for unit lbor nrhi or lbor nrlo for dose it's dose unit like for cm dose the variable qualifier can be cm dose u like cm dose unit so this is about you know the Quali qualifier variable categorization next is this is the flow chart for its domain this variables based on role classified into five major class identify topic timing qualifier and rule and the qualifier variables again subcategorized into grouping qualifier result qualifier synonym qualifiers record qualifiers and variable qualifiers so the next is HTTM variable classification based on core so the concept of core variable is used both as a measure of compliance and to provide general guidance to sponsors so based on core the variables are classified as required expected and permissible so required variable must always been included in the data set and cannot be null for any record they are basic uh, to the identification of a data record and are necessary to make record meaningful general the key variables and topic variables so the required variable should present in the data set and the value must present for that variable it cannot be null so the study id domain u subject id uh, cmtrt xtrt a term ds term lb test cd so those are the required variable in a domain these are the some, some, some of the examples and next is the expected expected variables may contain some null values and still are included in the data set even when no data has been collected in this case a uh, comment can be included in a define.xml to state that data was not collected so expected variables are something which can contain null values but even the variable has null values the variable should present in the data set some of the examples are this rfsttc rfendtc ex dos ex dos form next is permissible so per permissible variables are something uh, you know either we can include them or if no data is collected if all the records are blank then we may uh, exclude those variables from the data set so the sponsor sponsor can decide whether a permissible variable should be included as a column when all values for that variable are null like ds group id birth date ethnic epoch etc so those are the htm variable classification based on a role so we have discussed about variable classification based on a role and core so thank you for watching this videos in next video we'll discuss some more concept on basic HTTM programming. Thank you and take care.